There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world guys what's up divas what's up devos your girl's back for another video just the fourth video of the day you guys are wondering where i got the shirt from it's old i did get it from like rose gal azafo like so many years ago so it's old um but they still have these shirts on their website so you guys this week company i've never worked with them before but we have went back and forth not in a bad way but like you know corresponding to one another they sent me this fake scalp wig okay and i've had it for a minute let me tell y'all the fake scalp thing is cool I love it. It's like, okay, let's do this fake scalp thing. But as I was about to put it on, I noticed that the fake scalpage part was coming undone from the actual lace part. Now, I figured it out. Okay, so as I was pre-plucking the hairline, because you can still pre-pluck the hairline of a fake scalp wig, I've seen myself pre-plucking this little tiny clear like thread. I didn't really think much of it. I didn't know what it was attached to, but I know that I popped it when I was ready to do the video the other day. I noticed that it was coming undone. So instead of me trying to sew it back on, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just remove it. It is a fake scalp, but for two, like if you're going to do a fake scalp, can you please bleach the entire knot? It don't make no sense to make a fake scalp wig when you got all these little speckles of pepper all over the place. That just don't look good to me in my eyes. I was like, I'm going to just remove it because I'm not about to sit here and doctor up, spray a fake scalp wig with tinting spray when I could just bleach it and just do it the easier way. They said it was a 370. That's what she said in the email, but I don't know what a 370 is, but this is a 360 to me. You know, I pre-plucked it. I bleached it. Of course, you guys know that now. So I'm going to show you guys how your wig come and then we're going to put it on. Like this wig is really, really cute. I've never worked with this company before. AF sister came out nice after i bleached it so we're gonna just get into this okay when you receive your unit from af sister wig it'll come in their black standard box i think the blue bow is a very nice touch you'll also receive the amenities of a two-piece wig cap and a hair tie this unit also has a removable black elastic band in the nape area which is great for adjusting your unit the unit that I received is called Ezra and she is 20 inches in length, 150% in density. This is the Diamond Fake Scalp, which is a 360 lace frontal. The hair is absolutely beautiful with its deep wave. And as you can tell from the ends, the hair looks very textured and also healthy. As I stated, this is a fake scalp unit, and on the website it's called a 370. As you can see from the knots in the lace, it will need to be bleached. However, a fake scalp is a unit which you can throw on and go, and should give you the appearance of a natural looking scalp. Make sure you check out AF Sister Wig as they have many different units to choose from. I'll list all of their information down below. I'm gonna be real quick you guys because you already know the steps but as I was telling you guys it is a 360 but on the website it says 370 I am not really sure what the difference is but honestly I really feel like it's a 360 um as I stated I had to uh, cut the rest of the fake scalp off because it was coming unhinged which is no big deal I think the lace on this unit is bomb anyway so far as it being a fake scalp Honey, the lace on this is bomb. So it really didn't need to be a fake scalp. 
Um, I really think like the lace is HD. It's very meltable. So all I'm doing now is, you know, the normal taking out some baby hairs, taking out some sideburn hairs. I'm not really trying to stick it down, like adhere it like that, like that, because I just, sometimes I just don't want to do all of that. For this time, I'm just doing it a little bit different, meaning I'm gonna actually cut the baby hairs prior to me adhering it because I will need to adhere a little bit, so I am going to use my hairspray, which is the bedhead. However, you can use what you like, what you prefer. I like bedhead, I like got to be in the pink can. You know, um, I like to not adhere it sometimes. Um, sometimes I'll spray it on top of the lace in between the parts sometimes underneath it just depends on your preference You know if you really want it to stick on for days, then I would spray it underneath and on top The hair texture is gorgeous like this is the first time I ever worked with them and this hair texture is really pretty like the wig came out really nice like even though the fake scalp came unhinged the wig actually came out like bomb as heck on this unit. So I give it to them for that. It did come out really nice. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I like it better as a regular lace wig versus a fake scalp. Because when you do a fake scalp, you do need to bleach the knots. And they weren't really bleached like that for me. So I liked it that, you know, I like it a lot better now. The wigs on the website, it's like average price, you know, depends on the density, you know, and the length that you choose. But for the most part, you know, for first impressions, you know, because it came unhinged, you know, I really wasn't downfalling for that. You know, it might have been somewhat my fault because there was this little clear thread. I wasn't really sure what it was connected to, but um, I like it better like this anyway. So, you know, you guys tell me what you think. want to hairspray it down like that you know because I already had my own type of like baby hair type of hair swoopity swoop going on it did work out nice I had to spray some of this on the lace the lace is melzable but it's because of when I was pre-plucking it that you know I just had to spray some of this on it because of the bleach area but other than that the hair texture is gorgeous like for first time I'm gonna give them a six and a half only because the actual fake scalp came undone but that was really not their fault it was really mine but you know you could do a little bit better application job or sewing job but I just feel like you know when you make a fake scalp you should bleach the knots like hello what's the sense of not bleaching the knots if you're gonna make like listen girl you, you make a fake scalp wig to any company it's really important that the knots be bleached or else it ain't even gonna look like a fake scalp. It's just gonna look like a wig with like knots still. And they're gonna probably be more visible too if you don't bleach the knots and make a fake scalp. They're definitely gonna be like noticeable. Anyway, who am I to judge? But like for real, AF sister, you know, this wig came out cute, especially once I bleached the knots and took off that fake scalp. It looked much better. You know what I'm saying? And the like listen, this lace is good without a fake scalp. Like straight up, it's good without a fake scalp. I think so. Like this didn't even need a fake scalp. The lace is like good lace. Like why would you even want a fake scalp? Like I know I'm going on and on and on, but I'm just saying. But anyway, I'm going to leave the information down below. I got to go. Got no more videos to do, but I definitely have to go get my grandson. Let me know what you think. I love you all. Hope you have a great week. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Mm, here. And I will see you guys in the next video to come. Bye.